right, so today's the big day. We just picked up our cow. And this is a half a cow that you're looking at here, split amongst these three coolers. I'm gonna go ahead and break it on out and put it on the table here so we can take a look at what we got. We got a chuck roast, soup meat, sirloins, neck bones, all types of stuff. So, I know a lot of you guys out there may not eat meat, and if that's the case, then that's great. This video is not gonna be for you. And those of us that do feel that meat provides nutrition to our bodies, I just wanna kinda share with you guys what we're doing here. So, as we all can agree, it's been a crazy world the past few years, and uh, it's kind of put our attention on a few things, one of them being the food that we're eating and the nutrition that we're putting in our body. And I mean, is it nutrition, first of all, right? So we found this place online and it's really, really incredible. What they do is they raise their cows on 1,000 acres. The cows are 100% grass fed. So they live off of the grass only not to be confused with some processing facilities that will pack it full of grass for a week or so of its life, but otherwise they'll feed it the traditional stuff and then they'll label it as grass fed. So this is a little bit different. There's the tongue. So fully grass fed, the grass itself has never been sprayed with pesticides. They do controlled burns. Well, they will burn the grass and that will help provide nutrients back into the soil. Where am I putting these round stakes? That way they don't have to put a bunch of chemicals in. There we go. Cooler number two. Short ribs. The other really cool thing and, and probably one of the selling points for us is that They don't pump their cows full of chemicals. And I don't think I need to elaborate too much on what I'm talking about, but antibiotics, growth hormones, the big V word. These cows are not pumped with any of that stuff. So a lot of times when you go to the stores, you'll see grass fed uh, burgers, which is like hamburgers here. But this is grass fed everything. So the whole cow's grass fed. And, um, you know, we think that this is the best way to provide high quality proteins to your body. Now, do we eat meat every day? No, I eat mostly plants, fruits, vegetables, but I also don't forsake meat. Uh, not to mention the abundance of uh, chicken eggs that we have from our ladies that, that lay eggs every day. But, um, you know, there's a ton of debate on the internet about what diet's the best. And the way I look at it is, if you can radicalize somebody so that you make them pick a side, whether it be this side or the plant side, it doesn't really matter. If you can force them to pick a side, then you've won the battle, right? You've radicalized their mind. And our mind is so critically important. So we need to make sure that what we put in our body is not pumped full of chemicals and is not destroying our genome in the process. All right, so we got a freezer packed up full of beef here. Just to give you an idea, so a half a cow is gonna take you up about that much space plus about another half of that. And that thing is packed, packed in there pretty tightly. As you can see, the hamburger, I can't even. <laughs> Lots of burgers in there. 
family of four, I would say half a cow is going to last you a good six months. If you eat it the way I do, it'll probably last you a year.